You have a commitment to making half of your workforce women by 2025, with globally 42 and a half percent of your workforce already women. What's the challenge to keep it keep it going? Is it is it training the women haven't had? Is it women holding back? Is it just someone opening the door wider? Thank you for having me. It's great to be here on uh, International Women's Day. I think the 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 vision and the bold vision around the aspiration to be the most inclusive, the most diverse tech company in the world is what we carry. And the, these representation goals around half of the workforce being women are the bold vision that we sort of ladder up to. But I think if you think about it, that is the output that we are um, aiming to get to for that. We, th we, we think that pillars like finding the right way to hire uh, enough women in the, into the workforce, but also thinking about how do we, once they come into the company, how do you give them a sense of community? How can they find their tribe? How can they have the conversations in safe spaces that they feel like they need to and find their voice? But also we think very deeply about developing women and having very honest conversations to make sure that women are represented when promotion packets are looked at. And we think that all of these policies and all of these um, uh, you know, changing of awareness and DNA within the company are incredibly essential to make sure that the company not only has representation, but is is truly inclusive. So uh, in terms of the jobs that women have at Twitter, do they tend to be in one part of the company over another? For example, say marketing and communication and maybe HR versus the more, you know, technical uh, side of the business or have you managed to find talented women to fill all those roles because it seems that's something we see in some companies that you may they may have lots of women but the women are more concentrated in some jobs than others I, I think case in point I'm standing here leading a you know commercial function a general management function in the company and certainly when I look around the leadership table in Asia Pacific there are lots of strong women that I'm supported by across different functions I think it's true both for our for our industry in general that the pipeline of technical talent coming into the company is always one that we have to work very hard to ensure that we attract and retain. Uh, this has played out in our region as we've thought about specific programs to be able to have um, developers uh, consider Twitter and, and consider technology roles to come in uh, to our industry and our workforce. Uh, and, and we have a lot of custom programs. We've run programs called Develop Her. Uh, and a few others like that to be able to tackle uh, technology roles. But in general, our, our women representation looks, uh, you know, I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that it's quite balanced across functions. Maya, what needs to be done policy-wise, the conversations that need to take place to make sure that diversity, inclusion, you know, gender representation is actually embedded within a company's DNA and the way that it does things? Yeah, I think this is an important area to dive into. Actually starting with a bold vision right from the top uh, and setting the tone from a leadership level is incredibly important. But a very quick follow on to that is making sure that like companies carry you know, objectives and key results uh, around business metrics, um, we think that there is a need to have a similar focus around inclusion and diversity with broken down chunks for every leader to say, okay, what is my role in this, um, in contributing to the outputs that we desire to see as a, as a whole company? And for that, I think things like having the right conversations, um, for, ex for example, when we're, we're having promotion conversations, is there representation of women? Can we challenge biases that might have existed in, in putting deserving candidates through? Um, also, can we actually make sure that there, is, there are um, communities that are built? For instance, we've been, we've been thinking deeply over the last 18 months or so about building communities like Twitter Women or Twitter Asians to be able to give people that safe space and that community to say, I belong here. And if, if a woman feels like she belongs and she has a voice and she has a place to have her conversations, we also see that, that um, the, the retention, the happiness of our talent in company is always better and stronger. Maya, talk to me a little bit about the business and uh, some of these very ambitious and strong targets that have been set by Twitter. How do they play out in the Asia Pacific and what sort of 
uh, market do you see this turning into? Yeah, we're, we're very excited about the, the ambitions around developing, uh, doubling our development velocity, uh, doubling revenue by 2023, as well as growing our audience globally at a CAGR of at least 20%. Um, when we think about Asia Pacific, over the last few quarters, um, Asia Pacific has continues to be a driver, a strong driver of our international performance as a business. And both on the audience side and the revenue side, we continue to see strong momentum. As we look forward, the growth strategy really for us is focused around two things, um, a focus on helping both performance advertisers and brand advertisers launch product services, uh, as well as be able to connect to valuable audiences at the right moment here in Asia Pacific. The verticals that we're doubling down on um, and we see strong momentum around are technology, e-commerce, gaming, media and entertainment, which are, which are all also um, verticals that have got uh, you know, a shot in the arm from, from the COVID scenario more broadly from a macro perspective. Um, but also moments like today, International Women's Day or Ramadan coming up are all great moments where brands are able to actually lean into a, to uh, users mm. who are having a conversation on the platform.